Hi friends, I'm Jessica from Jessica Built and welcome to Single Scripture Today. Today is one of the most exciting days for me this entire week because we're going to be talking about the various different versions of the Bible. And as you can see, I have quite a few. Originally, we had um, the Latin and um, there was the Latin, like umpteen, you know, hundreds and hundreds of years ago. And then um, when Johannes Gutenberg printed the Gutenberg Bible uh, 567 years ago, it's either 67 or 69 years ago, um, he was the first to be able to take a printing press. It was, it had been like a lifelong mission for him, a dream for him to be able to produce a huge work. And so he did, he printed the Holy Bible in Latin on a printing press. And the reason why that is significant is because you were able to remove the type before the printing press, before the Gutenberg press was invented, you had to like etch into, into a plaque and then, you know, put the ink on. And it was just, you know, it was very expensive. And it, this, the Gutenberg printing press, the Gutenberg uh, printing press was actually made it less expensive. Although it's still with the first printings of the Bible would have still cost you three years wages, which is a ton when you think about it. But if you're only going to have one book, it kind of became a status symbol to be able to say that you had the Bible was your one book for your family. All that to say, there's a lot of history on the Bible. I would encourage you to read the book in the beginning. My pastor referred that to me and it was a fantastic read on the creation of the King James Bible by Alistair McGrath. It's a, it's a really great read on even the history of the English language and why we speak English kind of predominantly yeah, globally. So these Bibles that I have, I'm going to start by showing you the oldest Bible that we have in my Bible collection. It is an American Standard Version and it was printed in 1901. So this Bible in my hand is 119 years old. It was my husband's grandmother's and she gave it to us um, before she passed. If you have grandparents who have given you a Bible, it's really cool because you get to see where they, maybe where they underlined or where the pages were more used than others. The American Standard Version is a standardized American version. It'll be a little bit um, more different. So let's read in the American Standard Version. John 1, 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that hath been made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Not too difficult to understand, but if we read it in the King James Version, this particular Bible, you will be able to hear the difference. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. Not too different, and as a matter of fact, this being the King James Version, that was a very simple uh, translation. What I really prefer almost about the King James Version is that it is very easy to remember. A lot of the way that you will read in the King James is it almost has a lyrical um, sing-songy sense to it, even though there are a lot of thous and this is, and it can be a little bit more comp a little bit more difficult to comprehend, it actually flows really well off the tongue and it really helps with being able to memorize scripture. So King James, uh, New American Standard, um, here's uh, the James Moffat version. This is from the 1920s. This one right here is the Bible in Contemporary Language by Eugene Peterson. This is the Message Bible. Now this one in John 1.1, 1, 1, let's go directly to it. The Word was first. The Word present to God. God present to the Word. The Word was God. 
in readiness for God from day one. Everything was created through him. Nothing, not one thing came into being without him. What came into existence was life and life was light to live by. The life light blazed out of the darkness. The darkness couldn't put it out. So that's a big difference. That's a big difference between the King James and the New American Standard. I mean, my favorite, I've gone through this with Single Scripture Sunday before, my favorite scriptures being um, of the message version, Matthew 6, 33. I highly suggest that you read it. Um, God's steeped reality, it's just really cool. This one is the Scofield uh, study system. So in the example of this particular Bible, this is the King James version, but it is the Scofield study system. And so Scofield went through and he created a system for studying it. So it's kind of like um, when you watch movies and you have the director's cut, uh, that's what a Bible with a study system or a commentary or a study Bible is going to kind of have the particular person um, who has studied the original King James, it's got their commentary and, and their, their, their study guide built into that particular version of the Bible. So this one is the Scofield study system, but it is based on, it is written in the King James version. Another version which we have here is again, it's the same premise as the Scofield Study Bible. This one's the New Spirit Filled Bible, but it's also the King James Version. And so when you have a study Bible, like the New Spirit Filled Bible or the NIV Study Bible, what you'll see when you open the pages is you'll see these specific um, areas like truth in action. Um, this one's got little key phrases, key words, well, they'll highlight and they'll go into deeper um, description of what's going on in, during that part of the story that they believe that might help the readers as they're studying their Bible. So that's getting a study Bible for a new Christian or maybe for a child is a really good way to help them to kind of go deeper in their understanding of the word. The next one that I have here in my hand is the NIV, the NIV study Bible. In the New International Version, we will read uh, John 1.1. 1, 1. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God, and the word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. I've got like four different King James Version Bibles here. Um, the Amplified Version. I think that I would be remiss to not include the Amplified Version in today's uh, talking about versions of Bibles. Um, the Amplified Version. In the beginning, before all time, was the Word, Christ. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God himself. He was present originally with God. All things were made and came into existence through him, and without him was not even one thing made that has come into being. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines on in the darkness, for the darkness has never overpowered it, put it out, or absorbed it, or appropriated it, and is unreceptive to it. Beautiful. Beautiful descriptive actually includes in here clarity that what John is talking about was in the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was Christ. In the beginning, the two were one together from the dawn of time. So that is an example of the amplified version. Um, there's other versions. There's certainly many more that I haven't mentioned here, but um, I would love to hear your favorite version of the Bible, the one that uh, speaks to you the most. I think it's important for our kids to recognize and to, and to understand that if the King James Bible is too difficult or isn't easy enough to understand that there are other versions like the NIV, the New American Standard, the Message, and the Amplified Version of the Bible that will just bring even more clarity to something that can be considered pretty confusing if you're new to learning it. <music>